and the weather guys feels so good but at night you definitely need a jacket because it gets so cold at night and i always like walking past this building it's super nice yeah i love these ducks it's like so random but like so cool at the same time don't give up just because you're feeling uncomfortable like just embrace the differences embrace like the new things that are happening for you in your life Hey guys, so I am currently in a hotel right now. Hopefully my lips are like not chapped right now, but right now I'm just gonna tell you guys what happened yesterday because this has been very, very crazy and chaotic uh, arrival to Rome. Um, you know, if you've been watching my vlogs, then you guys know what's been happening. Like you guys know somewhat um, what has been happening. Um, I guess I might film right here. This is kind of risky because down there, as you can see, you can see that um, it's a lot going on. But basically, um, yeah, I think this might be a good angle. But basically, okay, let's just start off with the fact that I'm in a hotel right now because when I did finally make it to my apartment, there was no hot water, no heat. So I had to take a cold shower. And, you know, even getting to my apartment itself, like, it was such a disaster because my taxi driver, he dropped me off on the wrong side of my apartment, like not even the same street, like the opposite side. And he was just kind of rushing me. I could tell because there were cars behind him, but it's just like, do, like, I don't want to say do your job, but like respectfully, like, you know, I'm paying a taxi driver to drive me to the correct address, but he didn't. So then like, it took me about an hour and a half walking around Rome in a part that I didn't know, because even though I did study abroad last semester, it's like, I don't know the ins and outs of the city. Like I haven't been in that area before of where my apartment was. So it was just really, 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 really challenging and very scary because I wasn't sure if I was gonna even find where my apartment was because my SIM card was not working for some reason. I literally had paid for a SIM card as soon as I got here to Rome and I bought one and the SIM card is locked. So I have to go to um, the Vodafone people and ask them why is my SIM card not working so they can unlock it. But, um, and also my international plan also was not working. So I had to get that fixed and thankfully it's fixed now, but that's the only cellular data I have is from my um, American phone plan and they made me an international plan, but it's been very chaotic. And yeah, we had to move into a hotel and I have six roommates, six or seven roommates. I think one, she's on her way to Rome. She got COVID, I think, so she's coming late. But yeah, I have a lot of roommates, but in the hotel, I only have two girls in my um, hotel room that I'm with because only two of us besides me, two other girls besides me decided to come to the hotel because a lot of people were out when it happened. Well, it was happening for a while because before I got to my apartment, um, some of my roommates had already been complaining to our RA. Um, but me, like I told my RA, like I physically could not stay there because it was just too cold. Like my hands were numb. My hands were red too. Like right now they're kind of ashy because I, I wash my hands a lot because in COVID times, you know, you got to take appropriate measures. But, you know, I just told him I could not stay there physically. Like I could not. And it's like, he was like, okay. And so he, I guess he talked to maybe the dean or something like that and got it worked out. Um, but yeah, and then not only that, oh, it's actually really good lighting up here. Oh, there's like windows. You see what? You guys see that? But yeah, um, I'm just moving around because I don't really like staying in one place. I'm I the only one who's like that. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to move around because I'm just talking. Mentally and emotionally, I feel better today. But yesterday, I was crying. I was not feeling good. Um, I was crying on the phone. Like I was just like, it's too much. It's too stressful. But thankfully, today is better and it's a new start, a new beginning. And I'm going to get some food because I am starving. And I did find a place to eat at.
called Mama Eat in Rome. Um, one thing I will say that I do like about my apartment, I mean, I don't really, okay, so I don't prefer it more than the one, I, the apartment that I had last semester. So if you saw my apartment room tour um, from last semester in Rome, then you guys can understand what I mean by it. Um, yeah, I like my old apartment better, but you know, I can't do anything about it. So, you know, it's whatever. But basically, what I do like about this new apartment is the location. It's close to a lot of new things that I've never been to. So, um, including this restaurant, like I never really knew about this restaurant, but um, it's in this area. So I'm like in a completely different area than before. Oh, they have a mini gym on the first floor. That's cool. But yeah, I'm just really glad that God is helping me. And also just for you guys, like, I just want you guys to understand my life's not perfect. Just because I'm studying abroad doesn't mean everything's going like as planned. So that's also why I'm telling you guys like the real, like the real stuff that's going on that no one really thinks about or may even know about, you know? So that way you guys can understand, you know, my life's not perfect and there's things that happen to everyone. And you guys are seeing it literally. Oh, I have to go one more floor down. I guess that's the terrace floor because it's T. It says T, so I guess that's the terrace floor. But yeah, I really like these elevators. It's like LED lights, I guess. I don't see like the LED part, but it's like blue lights. I like it. And my lips are chapped, I think, but oh well. Oh, also, what I really like. Oh, it's okay if I record the cool stuff. Oh, okay. Thank you. I really like this hotel. It has like cool decorations. It has like hugs. It's super cool. And this mirror. It's like a morphing mirror. It's like a really interesting hotel. There's like so many like random things. Like Minnie Mouse. This is cool. Like when I first came here, I was just like, wow, so cool. They have like so many things. And then this pug. This pug is cool. And then, yeah, everything about this hotel is pretty interesting. Um, look at this frog. Super cool. Yeah, this is the hotel we're at, Hotel Rifa Roma. Super cool. And then they have ducks, like, all the way down here. And at night, it, like, lights up. So, super cool. I am happy to be in Rome despite all the challenges. I don't want you guys to think, oh, Christina's really not liking her time right now. I just want you guys to think that, you know, there are many chaotic things that have been happening that I have to, you know, deal with, but I'm like still pushing through, still dealing with stuff, still going. Um, almost thought I left my phone <laughs> in my uh, apartment, so I was gonna have to go back. Um, but thankfully, Okay, um, thankfully, um, I have my phone right here, so I don't have to deal with that. So let's see. It's okay. Back to using Apple Maps again. My savior right now. Well, not my literal savior, but my geographical locator helps me get everywhere that I need to go. So I think I'm good with just going straight. And the weather, guys, feels so good. But at night, you definitely need a jacket because it gets so cold at night. Like literally, it gets, I wanna say around 40 degrees. Like right now, I think it's around 56 degrees, but it feels like 70 degrees to me. But I am wearing like a sweater, I'm wearing some pants, some Vans, which side note, these are the only sneakers I have. Um, yesterday, I went out to eat with some people and, well actually, before I went out to eat with those people, I actually was wearing heels um, to a campus tour because um, all my stuff was still in storage from last semester so I didn't have any shoes besides flip-flops, vans, or heels. So I wore the heels because my outfit looks good with the heels and I really just didn't want to make a bad first impression because whenever I'm meeting new people it's like I don't want to, I don't know. I don't wanna wear flip-flops, you know, I just don't. And also that's really not what people wear in Rome at all. They don't wear like flip-flops, but they do wear sneakers, but I just didn't wanna wear my Vans, but now I'm just wearing my Vans. And then after that, I did pick up my stuff from storage because I was like, I'm not about to keep wearing these heels. It's just a bit too much. So 
I eventually did get some other shoes and yeah but yeah these are still the only sneakers I have though because my Yeezys I took back home to America um, during winter break and what else um, I'm trying to think oh I do have boots so that's the only other shoe I have besides heels and I don't know what I was thinking but literally I was thinking about like trips like that I do on the weekends that's what I was thinking about um, as far as why I brought so many heels I brought it simply for pictures and stuff but I didn't realize like I literally have a very limited amount of shoes so I'm gonna have to figure that out but I guess I'll talk to you guys once I get it to the restaurant and I always like walking past this building it's super nice but yeah I know this way that I'm walking now I recognize this how to get to school so it's nice now being on a familiar street and I know I said I would talk to you guys once I get to the restaurant but I did want to add that I really do kind of miss like I don't know I miss my old apartment but you know I feel like it's just me feeling a bit uncomfortable because this is a new place this is a new like I don't know this is a new semester and there's like a lot of different things that are happening but I feel like that's normal you know to feel a little uncomfortable and to kind of miss the old things like you know even though things are going good now it's like I still kind of miss you know what was familiar to me in the past but you know it's a new experience so I feel like you know just as a message to any of you guys out there like if you're dealing with a new circumstance or a very new situation that's not familiar to you like don't give up just because you're feeling uncomfortable like just embrace the differences embrace like the new things that are happening for you in your life like embrace it like you know it's the only thing you can do um besides giving up and it's the best thing for you it's just to embrace the differences and also you never know what good things can come out of you just stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing something new And guys, it's so nice to be seeing the tiramisu place still. Um, if you guys saw my like, I think it was my, Iceland, I know it was one of the first Iceland vlogs I did. Um, when I went to Iceland, I did a video like preparing for Iceland and I got tiramisu at the end of that video, I believe. So yeah, if you guys saw that video, then you should remember that place. It was super good. I have to go back there again because it was literally the best food I had. And I have to see what place I'm going to, like, check yeah, my map again. Make sure I'm going to the right place. Okay. Keep going straight for a while. And I like how some places, like, a lot of them are still decorated for Christmas. Like, super nice. Like, look. All this Christmas decorations. It's so nice. And I used to go to this restaurant a lot, Cambio restaurant. They have really good food. And I actually tried an octopus uh, dinner from them. It was very good. So I definitely would recommend that restaurant. But right now I do want to go to the other restaurant that I haven't been to before. But yeah, I really am glad that I got to do this, you know, walk and, you know, eating by myself right now. And it's not to say that, you know, anyone's like annoying or anyone's just, you know, been weird to be around. Um, I'm just saying I like being by myself like just for certain time periods, you know Like I like hanging out with people, but then I also like, you know being by myself and just taking time to think like I need to think like in peace, you know, so that's nice and also This is super cool. I like that Christmas tree um, I think this is where my nail salon the nail salon I used to go to is I think this is the same street so that's cool also I really like the end of this street I haven't been in this like part before because I always usually like just stop like once I get to my destination which is all the way down there but like look this view is like super nice the cobblestone stretches all the way down there super nice I liked it okay so I finally made it to the restaurant I'm gonna see if they're open so I'm at the restaurant, it's very nice. There's no one here right now actually, so I'm glad I have the whole place to myself. You know, just nice and peaceful, but super nice.
and I'm also very excited to eat because I saw a lot of stuff on Google about um, Google reviews. Google reviews about things they've eaten here, so I'm excited to see what they have. So this is their menu, but um, to show you guys what I was seeing on their uh, menu, like from reviews, is ooh, if this can focus. Um, okay, so I saw things like this. I'm not sure what it is, but um, pasta. Um, trying to get my camera to focus. Okay, so like pasta, chicken, pizza, just some cool things. That looks cool. Um, yeah. Also, another reason why like there's not really anyone here is because this is like an odd time to eat. It's 3 p.m. Most people yeah. eat around like 8 p.m. for dinner. So, yeah. Like, it was honestly kind of hard to find, like, a restaurant that was open right now because most restaurants close at, like, 3 p.m. for siesta, but I'm glad this one is open. My meal just got here. It looks so good. This is cacio and pepe. Can't wait to eat it. I also ordered a water, and it's so big. Like, how am I going to finish all this? It's super, super nice, cool glass bottle, though. Okay guys, so I just left the restaurant and I'm feeling a little tired. My back is still kind of hurting. I didn't really say specifically what parts of my body was hurting earlier, but it's really just my back, my shoulders, and my arms, and kind of my feet. But it makes sense because I had luggage like everywhere on my shoulders and back yesterday. So that makes sense. Now I'm just on my way back to the hotel. There's like a dog in that direction. Oh, I think this is like a library. It looks so cool. It looks like it maybe has children's books. I'm not sure. It looks really cool. And I can tell the weather has changed. Well, the temperature has definitely dropped because it definitely is much colder than it was before because I remember when I first came outside, I remember saying how it was really warm and how it felt like 70 degrees, but now it's much colder. I mean, I think it was maybe like 54, 56 degrees earlier, but it just felt like pretty warm to me, but now it's definitely colder. I really love the lights, it's so nice. So I'm back at the hotel and now it's nice because you guys can see what it looks like at night. So the ducks, the ducks right here, they're lit up. They even have like fire right here. So that's interesting. I know that they do have a hotel so it's like, well not a hotel, what am I talking about? They have a restaurant inside the hotel. So I think that's what this is right here. Um, yeah. Yeah, Reaper Place. This is their restaurant part. Um, and I think they also have room service that you can like buy the food from and they'll bring it up to you. But yeah. Super cool. I'm gonna try to have it focused so you guys can see better. Yeah, I love these ducks. It's like so random but like so cool at the same time. Ciao. This pug gets me every time. Yeah, that's the entrance to the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I got the blue, oh, sorry. <laughs> I got the blue elevator this time. That's great. I like the blue one the best. And so I was about to film the outro, well, I was trying to film it like in there, but I just took a look at the outro and I noticed that the video, like you couldn't really see half of my face, like one of my eyes was cut off. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here since I made it home, well, to the hotel safe. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later in my next video.
bye oh also with my room i just wanted to quickly show you guys um one of the cool features about this apartment which are the blinds and basically like if you guys saw my like old apartment tour like the first apartment i had fall semester then you'll know i had to like physically like manually like pull the blinds up like with a string but this the cool thing about it is i just press this like up button and wait for it wait for it it starts like rising them up super cool i love this feature because it makes it so easy with just a tap of a button like i just use this button i don't even have to go through any stress by trying to lift it up myself i just use this button super cool and there we have it and then i can turn on and off this light just by pressing that button but yeah now i'm just gonna let it down but it also works for um that window too i just press this one and you can hear by the sound that it's like rising up and you can kind of see it too if i zoom in so yeah there we have it so i definitely would recommend this hotel love that feature and yeah it's just really nice i think this one is still going down it's almost down the other one okay it's all the way down and then also um i did want to show you guys this artwork again because i thought this was super cool um yeah and if you guys were wondering um this is the other bedroom like i just slide the door and then like there's like a double and then the bathroom's like all the way there so yeah super nice space i like it a lot and yeah like this picture i wish i knew what it was of though like i'm not sure if it's of fontana la aqua which is one of the fountains i went to like in my rome my one of my first rome travel vlogs i think that's what it's titled um i went there took some pictures for my um old internship that i used to work for in rome so yeah that's pretty much the end of this vlog now like seriously now now i'm gonna end it here but stay tuned for the next vlog